trickling out of North Korea under the threat of war. 39 more South Korean workers leave Kaesong on the sixth day of North Korean-imposed travel restrictions on the jointly run industrial complex. Kaesong sits on the northern side of the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas. It's become the most important symbol of inter-Korean cooperation. More than 16 companies are closed, and the others, who have kept raw materials, are open. I think they can produce their goods until next week. A statement was read over North Korean television Monday afternoon announcing that business would be suspended in Kaesong and North Korean workers would be withdrawn. South Korean companies had earlier been given until Wednesday to get all their people out. South Korean business owners are concerned about the deadline, but say they have no intention of abandoning their investments, even though supplies are no longer being allowed in. Their continued appeal for a return to normalcy echoed by the South Korean government. Maybe North Korea might, might think that uh, they might think that nothing to lose, but I think that nothing to gain for these this kind of things. But North Korea blames the South for reigniting a state of war, calling South Korean government officials traitors for backing extended UN sanctions against the North after it conducted a nuclear test in February. If North Korea makes good on its threat to shut down Kaesong, it would be a big step back for inter-Korean relations, each side insisting that's not what they want. But neither seems to be doing anything concrete to resolve the situation. These workers say they just want to get on with earning a living without all this trouble. But that is no simple feat when they're physically caught in a political minefield. Margot Artigas, Al Jazeera, on the South Korean border town of Paju.